right, guys, I'm going to do a quick here lesson here on learning to estimate the sums and difference of decimals. So when we talk about estimating, we were just talking about rounding. So it's really what you guys worked on last week. Um, so I remind you that the numbers here to the left of the decimal are whole numbers. And then we have tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So, and I also included our rounding guide. So four or less, let it rest. Five or more, raise the score. So if we have the whole numbers 5.773 plus 9.38, and we are rounding to the nearest whole number, um, our 5 and our 9 are going to be in our whole number spots. So that means we're working, looking at the 3 and the 7 to decide what we're going to do. So my 7 is bigger than 5, and so that means we are going to round up. So the 5 is going to turn into a 6. Our 3 is less than four, so it's gonna make the nine stay the same. So this is gonna turn into six plus nine, which equals 15. So our final answer will be 15. For subtraction, it's the same thing. We're again rounding to the nearest whole number. So our seven and our three are our two whole numbers. We're gonna look at the numbers next to them to decide what to do. The nine is bigger than five, so it's gonna tell our seven to go up, so that's going to turn into an eight. The subtraction is gonna stay the same. Our one is less than four, so it's gonna tell the three to stay the same. So it's gonna be eight minus three, which equals five. So our final answer there is just five. I don't need to put point zero zero. Um, we can just leave it at our whole number because that's what it wanted us to round to. It doesn't change at all when we're talking about three numbers. So here, our whole number is still going to be in that one spot, okay? So then we have 7 and we have 1. So on this one, if I'm looking at my 2, we're going to round that. It's going to stay the same, so this is going to stay at 10. The 2 here, again, it's telling our 7 to stay the same. And here, our 8 is going to tell our one to move up, so that's going to turn into a two. 10 plus seven, if I wanted to work this out, would be 17 plus two, which equals 19. So our final answer would be 19. So as long as you guys were getting what was kind of happening yesterday, um, this should be pretty easy for you this week as well. Have a great day.